for joining me today. I hope you're going to enjoy this. Goodness, it is late. It is well past my bedtime. (laughs) I'm finding it hard to find some time to actually get these things recorded because I work normally in nap times at the moment. And oh, I've been so croaky (laughs) just lately. So I hope you can hear me okay. And also, I hope you've watched the unboxing video on this to see what I thought about this one. This is a File Effects Norfolk planner. And you can see in that video what I thought about it straight out of the box. And I was comparing it to Motom in particular because it's a bit of a, dare I say, a bit of a rival, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, you'll see what I thought. Anyway, I compare it to the Motown planners and also my trusty Moldens so you can see how it compares against those two. So if you can't tell already, this is an A5. So here we are then. We are going pink. So I have got loads and loads and loads of decorative bits and pieces in this one. To give you a little bit of context then, uh, I've been kind of AWOL online over the last like year-ish kind of uh, because I've had a baby. He is now nine months and I've made a really big, big long distance move down to live by the seaside. So it's been a chaotic absolutely crazy season in my life (laughs) and my planning has been absolute bare bones essential and I've really missed having the sort of planner where I want to turn over the pages and I remember back to some of my really old ones that I did and I just thought oh it was just really nice to have all those decorative bits and pieces and Although it's kind of served the purpose, what I wanted to do with this one was kind of like find a little bit of the the old like love for planning that I used to have when I just felt like there was lots of pretty stuff in there for me. So that's kind of one of the aims of this one to give me the sort of thing that I want to go into because I think it looks nice. Now in the unboxing video, I said that this front page here was blank. And I don't know, it just... It's useful. I love having the big zipper on it and this big pocket as well is great, but it was a bit too plain for me. So I wanted to put something on the front. So what I've ended up doing, I wanted to put some dot stickers in here, but I was worried about them getting rubbed and knocked and all sorts of stuff. So all I've done with this is I've got a piece of my acetate kind of stuff that I use for my clear covers it's basically the same as this and I've just cut it to double the size of one of these and I've stuck a little pocket on it and in that pocket I've got one of my task cards with all of the bits and pieces I'd like to remember to do help me get back on track if I'm feeling a little bit there and I've got some little pocket sheets here as well full of useful bits and pieces and this is just like a random sticker that is kind of huge but just for a little extra something I think it's quite fun so that gets poked in there and then these stickers get added into there like that and just to hold it in place I've got a little clip with a little tassel on because why not and then that will just whoop, that will just keep everything in place just there which is great so what i've got to go inside this pocket here is this little booklet thing here now this is a clear uh passport cover all i've done is i've printed off and cut to size a picture that kind of goes and then inside this one is brilliant because it's got some pockets in it so just a complete coincidence this fits my stickers so my little flag stickers that are spare are going to stay in there. I've got some cards, some sticky notes, small pocket sheets and some coloured bits and pieces. This is the sort of stuff that I normally just bury in these front pockets. But because I don't have any front pockets, I've got this. This is going to stay tucked out of the way in this big pocket under here. Let's have a look. So I've got my March calendar card in here. I've also got right behind it because we are nearly, 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 nearly in April. I've got my April card ready to go as well. And I've got my inbox dashboard, as you are probably used to seeing by now if you have seen any of my other set of videos. And what I have here at the front, did I snip this? Oh, I did, well done. So, (laughs) I just, I can't remember actually setting this up and I was kind of ill at the same time. This is gonna be a bit of an adventure for you and me today. (laughs) 
yeah i've forgotten so here is my washi selection then for this planner i just grabbed a few random bits and pieces that i thought kind of went and i've got them just on this clear bit of acetate again this clear cover that i can just take out and whack in any section that i'm using because i've put some little slits in here so i said that i'm just going to dump that back in and show you what else I've got in my inbox. So I've got my inbox page. I only have one of those because despite the fact that these rings are huge, I filled it. <laughs> I really thought that I'd be able to get way more. <laughs> but oh my goodness, it's amazing how much junk you can put in a planner if you've got massive rings. It's like, yeah, I chucked that in. I haven't even got all the bits and pieces that I thought I might add, so <laughs> never mind. So I've also got just some note paper and that's kind of it in my inbox. The idea with this is just to keep a really, really quick list of bits and pieces that I think of that I'm going to either add to the overview for the week to schedule to add it to a project because it's something i'm gonna think about after and it's like a part of a bigger thing or hopefully to delegate it tick it off when it's done that's it and then these are my notes pages because i don't have a notes section so i don't have many sheets <laughs> i will be adding those what i do have incidentally uh is look at this here so i've got a big pack of all of my spares and bits and pieces and so look at that look how many can you see goodness right <laughs> i'll put them back out of the way i'll just hide it off screen there you go tidy <laughs> so my first section then and this is where it kind of deviates a little bit from possibly what you're used to seeing calendar now this is a perpetual calendar incidentally the tea is so weak look at that <gasps> So <laughs> this is my perpetual calendar. So this is a new insert of them for this one. So what I want to have on here, uh, as you can see, my special events and dates and that kind of thing, any recurring tasks, not just a one off for that month only, like a, this time of year, I tend to have to do this kind of task. And then a, just a little don't forget reminder at the bottom as well. And I'm going to fill this in one for every month. And the idea being that if I switch to A5 after this one, I can just take all of it out and then take it with me in theory. <laughs> Let's see if it works like that. But anyway, so that's that. I use this alongside a Google Calendar that me and my husband both use because I can have all of my alerts and things pinging and reminding me when I'm supposed to do different bits and pieces, which works and I don't want to have everything written twice because I like to have my weekly as a chance to just take everything off my main calendar and then transfer it into there so I know what I'm doing. So then I've got a daily section as well. Uh, so what I've got on this one then, so I've got a day on one page because A5 is plenty space for me. So I've got a space to write the date at the top and I've got like a by the end of the day, you know, when you just got lots on, or when you're just a bit like foggy headed and you just think, do you know what? If by the end of the day, all I've done or all I am or all I have is this, then I'm winning. So that's the space for that. My schedule, I don't tend to use that hourly schedules very much, but I do like to see if I've got to do something or, you know, like make sure I've got to like call someone at a certain time or whatever. So I'll put that there. I've got my food plans for the day, whether it's a case of don't forget to freeze stuff or get something out of the freezer or cook something. And then I've got my work bits and pieces, my house bits and pieces, something just for me. So self-care kind of thing basically like something just to help me remember just don't just focus on getting everything done and be a zombie by the end of the day just working a little bit of downtime and then i've got my essential tasks and ideal because if i just have everything in one line i tend to just cherry pick and lose sight of the bits that i actually really need to get done today so that is my daily overview so i have some of those not too many but enough I can take more out and replace them. I don't tend to keep loads and loads of used up pages. I'd rather take them out and then have a new one and maybe like stick them on some archive rings if I really need to. So then I got my weekly section. So we have a little bit of decoration. <sighs> 
so now it feels like my planner now i feel like it's kind of like a comfortable home territory sort of thing so i have on here then some little flag stickers uh it's just held on with a bit of washi tape and underneath that is just a big sticker i just wanted cheekily poking out underneath i've then got a little bit of vellum here i am testing this out I'm testing it with a really pale vellum because as much as i like having vellum that isn't laminated or anything i love how just how the feel of it is really against everything else but i want to make sure that my ink doesn't transfer so i'm just testing it i like it in this situation for those times when you open up a a section and the first page you're not going to write on because it's half of a two week spread so it kind of reminds me like no that's okay that's meant to look like that <laughs> so here is my weekly and i have i never have these oh i feel all fancy now i've got like a proper page marker so here is my tweaked week on two pages layout so oh let's see then so i've got my essential and ideal tasks again I've got my space to write the date, the focus of the whole week. I've got my house stuff because, oh, good Lord, we've got so much to do today. Oh, I'm not even going to think you should see. You should see the state of my house at the moment. It is enough to drive me bonkers. So I've got space for my work stuff here, space for notes. And my main columns then are obviously my date, but my schedule. So my main appointments or things to like places to be i've got my absolutely this is my thing to get done today and i've got my food plans as well so let me just talk to you very briefly then about the whole work bit so far that you may have been picking up so this planner then is meant to bring in my shop stuff into my day-to-day -day planning because i appear to be completely incapable of juggling <laughs> two bits in one go so if i just have a work planner i forget what i've got to do during the day like i literally it's it's oh god i feel so bad about it but i missed a parents evening appointment and as an ex-teacher the fact that i just missed one i am absolutely mortified that i did that but i got too wrapped up in work and oh my god i felt absolutely dreadful and i just thought yikes something about the what i'm doing at the moment is not working but similarly if i just have a day-to-day -day planner without work stuff in it then i tend to lose track of what kind of like creeps up on me and like what deadlines i've got what orders i need to get out really quick so the idea is that i can't do one without seeing the other <laughs> that's the idea it does not work for everyone and when i was a teacher the last thing i wanted to do was kind of mingle the two different parts of my life but now they're both good i like them both <laughs> i kind of want them together so anyway that's my weekly section so i then have my food section which again i've got my cheeky little vellum here and a little tassel to remind me basically to go and fill in this page anytime i've got one of these little page markers in here it reminds me that this is a section i need to come back to so here then i've got my little dot stickers i've got a journal card and i've got my meal prep for those days when i want to be uh doing lots of batch cooking or something or other i've got my dining out <sighs> <laughs> and my thank god grab a takeaway <laughs> stickers as well so yeah so those are going in there and my meal planner for the week this is kind of adapted a little bit and i will do a video on meal planning because i've been experimenting a little bit uh lately but this is adapted from an a4 pad i keep in my kitchen and it tends to work really well so i have my overview but what i also have are things that i like to have during the week or i tend to ask my little girl like, what are we eating this week and that way it's no complaints because she's chosen <laughs> crafty so i tend to write down what i want from that then i make my shopping list i normally have in advance my freezer contents written in here as well so i can like tick off bits i've got and then in here when i've got food in the fridge to use up 
I write my dates down here and then I write what's going off or needs to be eaten by on different dates. Similarly, when I've got like a grocery shop turn up, I'll just add them into here as well. When I've got all of my dates sorted out, when I've got all my shopping, because I don't tend to find out my dates that things are going to have to be used by until I've got my shopping in, that's when I go through and I figure out what we're having mostly just for dinner on different days. So that's been working quite well. So now I'm going to try doing it in here so it's just a little bit more portable so I can just check what I've got. I say portable. This thing's a monster. The last thing it is is portable, but never mind. Anyway, personal section with stuff already in it. Whether it gets added to, I don't know. I'm hoping so. So what I've got, um, cute little melon just there. So I've got a reading list because I always come across bits and pieces on the internet. Oh, that'd be really nice to read that. And instead of just buying them what i'm hoping for with these is i can write my rationale for why i really wanted to read it because i tend to look at my kindle and all of these books are there and i think oh what was that one like why did i get that one <laughs> so this is like for my justification so like i know what to go back and read so then i've got uh, another little piece this bit makes me very happy this view because oh, look at the magic oh it makes me happy so this is the start of another section this is my gratitude planner and I'm really going to try and do this. It's something that we'd kind of do as a family anyway when we're having dinner, but I just want to start writing it down. I think it's such a good thing to do. So my gratitude section there. I've got quite a few of those. I can't remember what I've got after that. Let's have a look. Oh, aha, future adventures. Yes, because I'm always coming across bits and pieces now that we've moved that I really want to get to do and possibly wait until the summer to go and do. So this is where I'm going to start recording all of these. I like having this written down because it's one of those things where, you know, when you've got like a nice weather day or something and you're just saying, oh, what should I do? Well, if you're anything like me, you've had all of these ideas. You've then forgotten all of these ideas about things that you can do. But at least if I have this, I can just turn to it and go, oh, look, yes, of course I wanted to get here. I'm sure everyone is not quite as scatterbrained <laughs> as I am, but I need this. I need this written down. And then I've got uh, special occasions and gift planner. I'm going to have one for each month so I can write down what birthdays I've got coming up and what I'm going to get for different people on different days because I'm one of those people I love buying gifts I absolutely love it and I love buying someone what I think anyway is going to be their perfect gift so like you know people like mention bits and pieces and you think oh yes I'm going to get that for your birthday <laughs> I like to just write it down so I don't forget about it so that's the space for that one and then I've got let me see I've got my headings I used one before I have one of these in my A5 planner last time. I didn't get very far. And I've got all of my crafty bits and pieces that I took from my other planner just to remind me what I wanted to work on, like the sort of things I wanted to get creative with. And I've got my little oatmeal print off in here. I love the oatmeal. Little comic, really, about creativity. And then... I've got my reflection section. In this reflection section, then we've got more vellum and wash your tape this time with a little sticker over the top of it. Um, these are holding in my day of the week stickers. So in here, I've got, I'm going to use this as a double page spread again. I've tweaked my monthly reflection. The idea being, I want to build in, <laughs> just bracing myself as I say because I'm oh, I'm, I'd like to think I'm going to do it I hope I'm going to do it I'm going to try although I know that life just throws me some curveballs every now and again I run out of time it doesn't happen but I'm going to try I'm going to actually try and build in more reflection and more journaling time during the week definitely during the month to the best of my ability anyway so in here then I've got my find your balance thing that I've done and I've gone through before so I can kind of measure different areas in my life to see what kind of needs the most attention. Am I working too much? Am I not going out and that kind of thing and see what I need to make time for this month. What I've also got then 
to get me started on that is well how did I feel mostly am I satisfied with last month and why where did I spend most of my energy and was it worth it what do I want to get from next month what's one habit that I can work on to improve next month so the idea is every month I do one of those and then get myself going I'm not building any kind of massive goal focus because who am I kidding I have a baby (laughs) My goal is just to keep on going, basically, at the moment. And then I have a weekly reflection, um, again, with one of these, just to remind me just to come back and do this every week because it's not quite so easy to remember. So my weekly reflection then is just going to be a double page spread again. So I've got my challenges, things to make the week easier, tasks to get my week off to a good start. And then I've got my what's worked what hasn't worked and my what am I thinking about section where I just tend to just get all that stuff off my chest and just think what's on my mind am I going to fix it plan something to do about it or let it go so I've got my brain dump in here for every now and again those times when I'm just feeling so overwhelmed and then I've got bookmarked with a little journal card here some grid paper so hopefully I can do a little bit of micro journaling. Now, I will get back to you on that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like just yet. What I do know is I'm going to be using my pretty date stickers. <laughs> Can't tell you anything about else about that just yet. Watch this space. So, I then have my work planning. I have in here, this is my overview for the week, so I can see, sorry, for the month, so I can see what listings I'm going to have, what videos I'm going to put out, what I'm going to do with social media, what pictures and God knows what. I've got my essential and ideal tasks and what I'm going to stick in my newsletter because I just find that if I'm thinking about that throughout the month, it's just way easier. So I then have a shop section for my order sheets which I am not going to show you because it's got names and stuff on it but what I am going to do is I'm going to flip to the back and then show you my this is a processed page marker for when I've done stuff with the orders uh, orders incidentally if you didn't pick up on that are printed off um, from me on A5 sheets so I can scribble on them and annotate and whatnot, which I think is taking up bit of bulk in my planner I did want that to be fair I haven't got that many orders on the go I can have oh crikey I have had up to 200 orders on the go (laughs) at one time I'm trying to keep it well below 100 but it gets busy so I then have my house section now my house section at the moment I'm gonna subdivide into rooms but what I've got, this is one of my daily layouts, but I thought this might work quite well for the house because I could have like what I want to get from each area, like my room aims, like a brain dump, notes. This could be like a bits to buy or a shopping list. And then I just thought, actually, just some basic lists probably will work really well for this. And I had them knocking around anyway. So I've just repurposed a daily sheet and some just boxes, all these technically i use them as like a week on two pages view but it works doesn't it so i might as well do that so i'm going to label those up with some little divider stickers after my divider stickers incidentally are here i've printed out pink ones these i'm looking forward to using i'll just show you how i'm planning on using these so i'm going to be writing on both sides so the tab part is the coloured bit and these are going to go on the bottom for me so I'm going to write kitchen because that's what I've been doing today Uh, I may write kitchen on the other side too may not, yeah I think I will go for it so these are great for when you want to have a tab but you don't think it's going to be like a permanent forever tab because you can just peel them off I'm just trying to dry that a little bit because I don't want to smudge it. Mm. Although, I'm bound to smudge it. Who am I kidding? So, the idea with these is they're a bit of a crazy shape because they're meant to be folded in the middle. And they've got this white stripe on them because that's the bit that you line up with the edge of the page so you can see what goes where. So, I'm not sure if I've left this long enough with this pen because this can be a little bit blotty. So, is blotty a word? It's not, is it? Anyway, 
<laughs> so what happens is you put this on the page and you line that up with one bit and another bit there we go and then that gets stuck down so it kind of disappears and then this gets folded over you can't get the fold itself wrong because you meet the edges like that and then fold that bit over and then way a non-smudged temporary tab oh satisfying if only my handwriting were neater anyway one day i'll fix it one day i've got enough of those and i've got a page for the back and then in the back i've just got a task card here i've got some more of these crazy huge stickers so i've got my term dates which i've actually used already on the phone today um so i have my daily weekly and monthly cards just in there ready to go so they're the sort of things that i'll fish out every day or every week every month and just check that i've kind of done everything i need to do rather than write down all the same tasks all the time and i do believe that's it so i'll just whoop, put my pen back in the pen loop because oh it's such a satisfying pen loop compared to the moldens having an elastic one is lovely well, look flat i'm not I'm not really sure what that does <laughs> never mind anyway so that's that good lord i feel like i've been talking for hours so i hope hope you are still with me after all of that and i hope that you've taken away some videos to not videos ideas tips <laughs> to help you with your own setup and i hope that you'll be joining me again because i've got lots more lots 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 more on the way i am going to try and be as frequent as i can with uploading videos i have lots planned anyway that's enough from me for now thank you bye bye Thank you.